This creature may look like something you'd imagine swimming around the oceans millions and millions of years ago. You may be surprised that this animal, called a chambered nautilus, can still be found in the ocean today. They are also called the pearly nautilus or the emperor nautilus. This species' scientific name is Nautilus pompilius, from the ancient Greek word nautilos, meaning sailor. The nautilus is within the phylum mollusca. The term mollusk derives from the Latin word mollus, or soft, and it describes a disparate group of bilateral animals that have a mantle with a cavity used for breathing and excretion. Within this phylum, the nautilus is in the group cephalopoda. Cephalopoda means head foot in Greek, and this is a group of exclusively marine mollusks that have a prominent head and a set of arms or tentacles. This includes all species of nautilus, octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. The nautilus is the only living cephalopod with a visible shell on the outside of its body. The shells are made up of many chambers. Only one chamber holds the body of the animal and the rest of the chambers contain gas to help the nautilus control its buoyancy or where it is floating in the water column. A young nautilus begins its life with only seven to eight chambers in its shell and as the animal grows, it adds additional chambers. The shell of an adult nautilus has 30 chambers and is typically 12 to 23 centimeters in length. This means that the shell is typically equal to the length of one to two pop cans. An adult nautilus typically weighs at least one kilogram. This means that it has a similar weight to a pineapple, a ukulele, or a head of cabbage. The chambered nautilus has an Indo-Pacific distribution within the tropics meaning they are found in parts of both the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Within its geographic range, it inhabits depths of 70 meters to 700 meters. They are reef dwellers, and during the day, a nautilus will stay amongst the deep reefs along the seafloor to stay safe from predators such as sharks. At night, it will travel up in the water column closer to the surface of the water in order to feed and lay eggs. One cool adaptation is the counter shading on the nautilus shell. This is a form of camouflage where the shell is darker colored on the top to blend in with the darkness of the water below and the bottom is lighter colored to blend in with the light coming in from above. A nautilus moves by jet propulsion where water is pushed out of the opening of the shell using a siphon. They are able to move forwards, backwards, or sideways depending on the direction the siphon is facing. One big difference separating nautiluses from their fellow cephalopods is their lifespan. Other cephalopod groups, like the octopus in this clip, tend to have very short lifespans and generally die after reproducing. However, chambered nautiluses don't reach maturity until they are around 10 to 15 years old, and they can live for up to 20 years. Mating can last 24 hours. Some species of nautilus have been found to exhibit courtship behavior, though there has not been much research on this. After fertilization, the female lays a small number of eggs that take a year to incubate. The eggs hatch into small but fully formed nautiluses as the species demonstrates direct development with no larval stage. No one has ever raised a nautilus to adulthood in captivity before and little is known about how to care for them. The Monterey Bay Aquarium has been hatching baby nautiluses and trying to learn about their growth and development as not much is currently known. The nautilus grows up to be a very strange and ancient looking creature. Many people are surprised that they are still roaming the oceans today. The chambered nautilus is often referred to as a living fossil as they have remained relatively unchanged for the last 500 million years and have persisted into modern times while many of their relatives have gone extinct. The nautiloid group developed in the late Cambrian period and in the Ordovician they played an important role in the ocean ecosystem as predators. There was much more diversity in the nautiloids millions of years ago, and it is estimated that there were thousands of species. However, the same extinction that ended the reign of the dinosaurs also resulted in the loss of many nautilus species, and today only six remain. However, the species that exist today have changed little from their ancient form. Living fossils like the nautilus provide insight into the biology of ancient organisms. This is particularly helpful for types of information that cannot be figured out from the fossil record. While fossils can provide a wealth of information about an extinct species, there are many limitations about what becomes preserved and what information can be deducted from fossils. For example, the hard, strong shell of the nautilus would likely be fossilized, while the soft parts of its body would likely not be preserved. 
Having a living fossil also helps provide insights to the characteristics of related extinct species that may be surrounded with uncertainty when working with fossils alone, such as behavior, ecology, and locomotion. While the Nautilus has persisted for millions and millions of years, it is now threatened throughout its range due to human impacts. The beautiful shell of the Nautilus is highly sought after. The shells are valued by tourists and shell collectors, and they are also used to make decorations and jewelry. Nautiluses are very impacted by overfishing for their shells. Because the chambered Nautilus grows slowly and matures late, and they have low numbers of offspring, it is hard for populations to recover when they lose individuals to the shell trade. Strong conservation measures are needed to ensure this ancient creature will keep swimming the oceans in the days to come. For more videos on marine species, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching!